Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today we are talking about premium connectivity. So for 10 bucks a month, depending on when you bought your car, you have to pay Elon more money. Okay, but not really. So they have a ton more Teslas on the road, so they're trying to offset the cost of their data connection in the cars. Now, some of the features reserved for the premium package are actually included with the standard as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. And those are video streaming, karaoke, music streaming, and internet browser, available only over Wi-Fi. But if you're like me, you have a personal hotspot available to you included with your wireless plan. So at least I do. So let's set up very easily. We're gonna we're in park right now. We're gonna turn on our personal hotspot and I've already connected my phone, so you see it pop up there, all electric, and it automatically connects to Wi-Fi. So right now, this white Model 3 is not subscribed to any sort of premium connectivity, and we are able to listen to the streaming music, and we can do karaoke as well, and all the other features that are available on Wi-Fi. Okay, so that was super easy. All you have to do is connect your phone's personal hotspot to your Tesla, and that's it. So you can see, if you look in the top right hand corner right there, we are still on Wi-Fi, but what happens when I put the car in the drive? So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and put it into drive and boom, instantly we go to an LTE connection. So I am off of Wi-Fi and I'm on an LTE connection. And this is going to carry on and play this song. So this song, because it was loaded on Wi-Fi, will end up playing through. But if we skip the track and go to the next one, you can see it says, please connect to Wi-Fi. But wait, we were just on Wi-Fi, what happened? So if we tap on LTE, anytime you put the car into drive, the Wi-Fi turns off. So notice I'm still in drive now. I haven't opened up my phone, but it will reconnect to my phone, which always doesn't happen. Most of the time I have to unlock my phone, and then open up the settings menu again for it to connect back to the personal hotspot. So we're back on Wi-Fi, we are in drive, so let's pretend you're driving and you're listening to the streaming music or karaoke, and you make a stop somewhere, let's say at a gas station. <laughs> Very funny. So you put the car into park. So Wi-Fi is still on if you look at the top right hand part of the screen. Wi-Fi is still on, still connected to your phone. You get out of the car, you get back in, you put it in drive, and Wi-Fi turns off again. So anytime going from park to drive, the Wi-Fi will turn off. So when this song is over, you'll have to reconnect your personal hotspot to your car by clicking on the LTE once you're in drive, and then turning Wi-Fi on manually, and then you can see here it doesn't pop up for me. So I actually have to take my phone out of my pocket. So let me wiggle the phone out of my pocket real quick. And now we have it, still not connecting. So let me unlock the phone, and then we're gonna go back into the settings menu and make sure that the personal hotspot is there, it is visible, and you can see that it does not connect instantly. It does take several seconds. I've had it take up to 25 or 30 seconds to reconnect to the car, and when this does reconnect, you're gonna see it pop up right underneath where you saw before. Now we have it connected to, I had labeled the phone all electric. And so now it is connected, I'm back on the Wi-Fi hotspot. So not very user friendly because every time you put the car into park and then drive again, it's going to reset that Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi automatically turns off. That seems like something that should be in the settings if you're somebody who wants to utilize their personal hotspot rather than subscribing to the premium connectivity package. You can also see here you don't get live traffic or satellite view maps, but you might be somebody like me who doesn't really care about the live traffic or you use Waze all the time, and so you don't need to pay an additional 10 bucks a month, and maybe you subscribe to Apple Music and maybe you prefer their content over what you get in the Tesla. And if that's the case, then you can utilize it through your phone. Now, it's not as seamless as something like the Apple CarPlay or something like that, but it will play very reliably through the phone. And this has been this way since 2012 when the first Model S was released. This user interface was able to play over Bluetooth, which at that time wasn't very common. The downside of doing this is you have to go through your phone in order to start the music unless it was already started. Unlike 
a user interface like Apple CarPlay where you can just control the music right from the car's center display. You can control the music once it has begun. You can see me skipping track there, but it is not as seamless as the premium connectivity package. That is why we personally have subscribed to the premium connectivity because I feel like for 10 bucks a month, getting the live traffic and getting the satellite maps, if you want it, is worth nine bucks a month, especially if you sit in any type of traffic Although they've said the navigation and the standard connectivity will use the traffic information to give you the best route. So if you're not using Waze and you are using Tesla, don't worry. This is just for you to see the traffic physically. So here's what you get. It's just a plain map, but with the premium connectivity, you get the live traffic, which is the yellow and red lines, along with the detailed satellite imagery. So even though there is a pretty easy workaround, I do feel like for nine bucks a month, it's worth it for me not to hassle with turning on my phone and messing with the whole hotspot thing. But let me know what you guys are gonna do or what you've already decided you're gonna do down in the comment section below. I wanna give a big thank you to all of you that are supporting me over on Patreon. You can show your support for as little as a dollar a month and for $4 a month, you get YouTube early access. For the all electric tier, you get early access and you get a shout out at the end of all of my videos. The all electric supporters I have right now are Graham Matul and Nicola Pro. Thank you guys so much and thank you so much to all of my other patrons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and make sure you share this video with a friend. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.